cannot tell you how much I hate them. Hoyo post all their news at 2 a.m. for me. So I had to wake up early to do this Bruh. video. So, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. What is it, Monday, Tuesday? Oh, God, Monday, disgusting. Right, hey, good luck at work, everybody. Uh, so there's a new massive news article that just popped up in game that I want to talk to you all about real quick. Before I get into any of that, I'm going to say this right now. There are new characters coming to the game, okay? Diona, Rocker Girl, Child, and Zhongli. Please, before you trust anybody's opinion on these characters, wait for them to come out in the game. If people are saying they know how these characters will be before they go live, it is not true. And this is because there's been characters like Zhang Ling that were absolutely ridiculous in the testing period. And then the moment they came to live, they were nerfed drastically because they were deemed overpowered because after the baiting test is over, they're like, oh, okay, this, this, and this, this character's broken, nerf, send them to live, okay? Please be careful before summoning for any of the new units before we can actually see their kits on the live servers. The beta test stats do not mean shit. If you want to see uh, how the characters are when they are live, I will be covering that minute one of their drop. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that and make sure to subscribe if you want to be careful with your resources before summoning for anything. So we actually got some massive shit some new some old if you haven't seen my other videos don't worry i'm gonna skim over everything that we've already talked about but you'll still get the full picture without having to watch a previous video okay so the big thing to note here is just that there's going to be more story quests that's going to be unlocked at 35 adventure rank which is gonna be really nice because right now i believe the main story quest cuts off at like what 29 30 and then you do like the i'm not gonna do any spoilers but you have three special quests for three Three great characters and then after you beat all those at 34 35 new big ass story which will hopefully wrap up this massive cliffhanger we're on and we got the sex god zhongli to talk to i swear to god they could not have made a better character zhongli he's if you haven't met him yet he's fucking sick all right y'all are gonna love him if you haven't met him yet now let's talk about all this new version update confirmed news right here from the hoyo's mouth hot mouth or greedy mouth was a little bit too lewd. <laughs> okay, uh, regardless, we're gonna be getting 60 Primo gems for each hour uh, that the servers are down. Um, so we should be getting 300 Primo gems. It's gonna be down for five hours. Whenever update 1.1 goes out, should be November 11th. And then I think the banner is coming out the next day. Uh, but wow, we get 300 Primo gems. So we can almost do two whole summons. Regardless, we're getting some free Primo gems. So free to play players, if you want those, Pog. You can save them if you like, you can use them for refreshes, or you can drop them on the summon banner, whatever you choose, okay? Whatever you choose. In my opinion, I think it'd be better just to summon rather than do refreshes, because that's kind of weird, but regardless, uh, let's continue. So new content, we're getting a bunch of new characters. Five-star child, I, I can't fucking wait. His banner's gonna be first. Uh, it's gonna be child and uh, the fucking cat, Diona, and that's gonna be awesome. Both of these, I, I, I believe both of these characters will be top tier unless they're drastically nerfed but i'm so goddamn excited man i cannot wait to get child uh but that being said make sure you're careful with your money <laughs> okay make sure you're careful with your money uh but i am a hopeless gambling addict for genshin impact so i'm gonna be getting both of these um and and you know for lower budget players diona shouldn't be that hard to get ideally obviously there's disaster scenarios but uh, getting a force on a is not that really that hard uh because of the pity system and all that shit uh, and there's gonna be an event uh which child and four star characters will have oh yeah, yeah yeah the new banner this is the new banner okay so the new banner is going to be child diona um bido and ning wong i'm gonna make an entire video on this banner um in a couple seconds so if you want to see that make sure to sub yeah, uh, I have some very mixed feelings about this banner, but we'll talk about that later. And I'm also very weary upon talking about that banner until we actually know how good Child is, how good Diana is, and how good their constellations are. Uh, but let's continue. Then we'll have the test runs. So we'll be able to demo them. Uh, that way, for anybody who wants to play them without spending all their money, they can test them. Great. I love that system a lot. Uh, yeah, Zhang Li and Zing Yan coming out later for sure. Uh, and we're actually getting new weapons. I did not see any leaks about any leaks about this whatsoever so seeing and i also really didn't pay attention even regardless that's probably why <laughs> new weapon memory of dust five-star catalyst now 
I'm worried that this is gonna be absolutely bullshit broken, but the tomes or the catalyst that we already have for the five-star category are absolutely ridiculous. Um, I believe there's also going to be a new weapon banner, which is, yeah, the new weapon, uh, an old bow, and then a bunch of four stars. Uh, yeah, but if I recall correctly from what I've seen on this banner, it once again some mixed feelings and i'll make another video about that very soon before 1.1 goes live i don't really think the banners are too good which i guess for free to play players is a good thing uh because this will make the urge to summon a hell of a lot less because the banners seem pretty shit to be honest so hey i'm in i'm glad the banners just aren't completely broken if you don't roll on them it's just terrible like the banners pretty bad all right let's continue yeah the new archon quest uh sweet with ning wong yeah the more uh are the story quests that we get at adventure rank 35 sick more world quest awesome i don't really want to go into this too much because i don't want to spoil anything we yeah, had new world quest new story quest new archon quest that's gonna be massive you can check out all this in the uh, in-game notice board in the top left by the way uh that's gonna be big that's gonna be big and i have no idea what mighty cyclops adventure is but that sounds awesome I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. And new events. This is the thing that I really wanted to talk about the most. The new event. Uh, they're doing something really good with this event uh, that a lot of the beginner players and the free-to-play players are really going to love because they're going to be giving us one of the best characters in the entire game absolutely for free. A character so good that anybody can build them, use her on any team, and it's just going to make the game way easier. Uh for anybody who's struggling. And she's awesome. I have her built on my team. I actually have her 70. I'm going to A to her. She's ridiculous. All right, so yeah, we're getting a new event uh, about, you know, Mona, stars and shit. Cool, astrologist. Starting on, uh, what is this? The 16th of November, lasting until the 30th of November. It's gonna be big. You're gonna get character essential materials, hero's wit, you know, weapon EXP, talent enhance, crown of insight, no idea what that is. But the biggest one, man, the biggest one, getting a guaranteed fish for free. Dude, 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 that's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, in case you don't know, fish, one of the best if not definitively the best character in the entire game. And I stick by that because you can use her on any team, no matter what. If you build a fish, you will not regret it. And that's because, and I'll make an entire video on this. Fish is a character who can do literally 100% of her damage while she's not even on the field. Okay, and she'll constantly keep the electro debuff on any target you hit. And you'll be able to proc it every second. She is absurd. If you need a, you can even use her as a main DPS or two. She's one of the best main DPS or two, but you do need some consolation for that. But regardless, she's probably the best assist in the entire game. Some people call him support, some people call him assist. I call him assist, but I feel like Fish is the best assist in the entire game. Cause she just drops a turret. She drops a turret on the floor and then she leaves. She's outrageous. Uh, more things to touch on. The, uh, the city reputation system, which is gonna be so nice. That's just free content, dude. That's free content. This is gonna be so fun for everybody. You're gonna get a bunch of free rewards like gliders, MRE kits, a bunch of free goodies, new recipes. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, and you can talk to some weird ass people to get bounties, which are like big bonuses for the reputation system in case you wanna max that out as quickly as possible. You get three bounty quests a week. It's gonna be really nice. You have the exploration progress system. That way you can explore around the map and see if you've missed anything, see if you haven't missed anything, see if you're good to move on. It's really nice, the archive system. Just kind of clean quality of life things, being able to navigate the menu easier. Uh, you have the character archive system, great. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more quality of life for like searching your artifacts and searching your equipment. It's gonna make the game actually make sense. It's gonna make the game really, really, really good. Uh, some gameplay, so some new recipes you can buy and a new monster, unusual hill and Cheryl. So I've heard about this and this might just be coincidence, but I recommended putting in a treasure goblin type character into Genshin Impact. And from what I've heard, this new monster, the unusual Hillichurl, might just be that. Mahoyo might have used my 100% completely original idea 
or it's just coincidence. That being said, uh, Mahoyo, make sure to uh, make out your royalties to youtube.com forward slash Tectone and twitch.tv forward slash Tectone. I cannot wait to see what the unusual Hilla Churls about. That's going to be sick. That's going to make farming for moms a hell of a lot more exciting because Hilla Churls are everywhere. But what if one is just a little bit different? Gives you free shit. I heard it gives primo gems. I don't know if that's true, but if it's true, that's going to be sick. All right. The great assault. Please take that with a great assault. Okay, just speculation. Please don't be like, oh, Tick don't said this. That is speculation. All right. Yeah, they're going to allow, uh, they're going to allow uh, key bindings now, which I foresee causing a lot of issues and exploits, but we can give Genshin Impact the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they know what they're doing, but uh, yeah, I'm worried about that. New customization options for graphics, fog. Oh, I love fog. Okay, so I'm probably gonna pump that up. Uh, Bloom, crowd density, co-op teammate effects. Co-op teammate effects, Nani. Okay, uh, camera settings and default camera distance. Dude, if I can zoom out more, holy shit, that would be nice. Oh yeah, and the locked equipment function. I can't wait for that, dude. And a report function to co-op. Now all these fucking shitters, you can be like, yo, this guy doesn't do as much damage as me. Fuck that kid, ban him. Regardless, I try to get through all the news without dicking around and jerking off and taking 10 minutes to talk about everything. Fuck, the video's 11 minutes. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I, I hope y'all enjoyed that, that nice little breezy, quick little update for everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. More new videos to come. I'm probably gonna pump out a couple today. I generally just try to do one a day or maybe one every two days, but uh, today we'll probably do a couple. So if you wanna see those, make sure to subscribe. Try to hit 300K before the end of 2020. We already hit the first goal. Let's hit the next. Anywho, I love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking and commenting. Peace.